eight weeks and three days today, which means I've officially made it into November. A couple videos ago, I talked about how I wanted to have a November baby and not an October baby. So that makes mama happy because I was really hoping I would have the baby in November and not October. We made it past Halloween and we are officially having a November baby. So this last week, not too much has happened. I had a midwife appointment last Friday that I talked about in my last video. At that appointment, not much happened. We went over a lot of the stuff that we, we like went over the supplies and stuff, made sure that we had everything ready for the birth. So everything is good to go. Sorry, I'm sitting in my birthing ball. If I'm like going side to side, I cannot sit on this floor. I just can't, I just can't do it. We set up the birthing pool this week to make sure that there was no holes in it or anything. So that was good to go. And we made sure that it fit in the room and all that stuff. I was telling you guys how I wanted her to check me and I was pretty sure that she wasn't going to and she didn't. She was like, it's not a magic number. There's really no reason to know, especially this early, if you're dilated or not. It's not gonna tell you, like if you're at three centimeters, it doesn't mean anything. If you're at zero centimeters, it doesn't mean anything. So it's really just not valuable information and it's not worth the risk of infection and stuff like that. So she did not check me for dilation, but I do have a feeling that I am a little bit dilated. I just feel like my body wise, I just feel like the baby's so low. I feel like I'm probably dilated maybe a little bit, but other than that, I feel like the last like three or four weeks, I've kept feeling like I was gonna have this baby early or like earlier than my other pregnancies. And now these last, this last week really, I feel like all of my pre-labor like symptoms that I was having have disappeared. They've just gone away completely. So at this point, I feel like I'm gonna be pregnant for another like, two or three weeks. <laughs> we'll see, only time will tell. Hopefully this baby will surprise me. I've definitely been having some contractions, but not as much as I was having like last week and even before that. And at my midwife appointment, she did check the baby's position and the baby is very, very, very much completely 100% posterior so that sucks and because of that I've been having this excruciating excruciating back pain throughout the day like if I walk too much or if I like lean a certain way um, because the baby's head I've explained this a little bit before if you guys don't know what posterior is but the baby's head down so it's not breech the baby's head down but it's facing out instead of facing your spine so you want the baby's back to be along your stomach and my baby's back is along my back and because of that it's causing a lot of lower back pain and pressure from the baby's head and back and stuff like that so I feel a bunch of little limbs out here in the front and just a bunch of pressure in the back and it has been so uncomfortable so I have been sitting in a bunch of positions religiously and sitting on the birthing ball to try to get this baby turned around because if I don't get it turned around labor probably won't be that pretty <laughs> also at this last appointment we did the groupie strep testing all you do for that is you stick like this q-tip looking thing up your vagina and you just like swirl it around a little bit and then you send it in for testing so I haven't gotten the results back for that so I'm fingers crossed that that comes back negative because if it comes back positive then you have to worry about how you're gonna treat it or if you want to treat it or all that stuff so that's just like a whole different thing that you have to look into at that point so I'm just crossing my fingers it's gonna come back negative and we don't have to worry about that sorry guys the Sun keeps hiding behind the clouds and the lighting keeps like changing dramatically I had a new symptom this week that I haven't had yet in this pregnancy and I don't remember really having much at all with my other pregnancies but a lot of people talk about like it's getting super bright. <laughs> A lot of people talk about the sciatic nerve pain and that's where, I think that's the right term, where you get like this shooting pain, but it was almost like numb in certain areas for me down one of my legs and it's because of like the way that the baby's sitting. So when we were trick or treating, I experienced that for the first time. I don't know if it was just cause I was walking a lot. I just got this like shooting pain down my leg and it was the weirdest thing ever. And I'm assuming it's like the, the sciatic nerve pain that people talk about. So that was not comfortable. And then I like, I was hoping I was just gonna like walk all night Halloween and then we could just like get some contractions going and then have a baby the next day. But I literally had zero contractions that night like none and usually I'll have at least a couple but that night I had just nothing there's like no signs at all the only other thing this week is that my acne has been I've talked about this throughout the whole pregnancy but my acne has just been so terrible specifically on like my chest area and my back and then on my face too it's been really really bad you can't see I tried to cover it but my acne has just been so so bad so 
I don't know, hopefully that's like a sign that something's gonna happen like soon, right? Hopefully. Of course I have been having acne this whole pregnancy so I guess that wouldn't really make sense. And the other thing is that I'm noticing right now as I'm doing it is my the very very bottom of my stomach has been really itchy just in that one spot. I think it's because the way that the baby's sitting that particular spot is more stretched out than it has been in the past. Like there's like a shoulder or something sitting in this one area and it's stretching it out so far and my stomach is literally shiny because it's so stretched out. It's like really weird to look at. But other than that this week I don't have too much to update on because really just it seems like all all the signs and symptoms that I had of like labor nearing has gone away which is kind of a bummer so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 38 week belly so here is with the shirt on and here is with the shirt up obvious until I've been scratching the crap out of it right here so it's probably pretty pink my stomach is super itchy today. Or I forget this time. Let me measure. Looks like I am at just over 45. And last week I measured after the video and I was right at 45. So it looks like I'm at 45 and a quarter this week. So I think that's actually it for this week's video, guys. Sorry there's not too much to update on. But like I said, I really just don't feel like I'm gonna go into labor anytime soon. The baby was originally posterior, but it was more like of a transverse posterior, and now the baby is 100% completely posterior. I don't know if that has something to do with my body kind of like being turned off from labor, you know, or if that makes any sense at all. But I've just really been trying to get this baby in the right position, because I feel like once I just get it in the right position, it'll engage and like things will go from there so I'm really trying if anybody has any advice to get this baby to turn anterior definitely let me know but I do know that I have a anterior placenta and I was reading up on that a little bit and people were saying that that could have an effect on you're like more likely to have a posterior baby if you have an anterior placenta so the odds are against me so that is it for this week's video guys let me know if you guys have any questions and I will answer them in the comments below or in next week's video make sure you follow me on Facebook snapchat Instagram I'll have those links down below and other than that I will talk to you guys for our Friday video bye yeah, let's go. we're gonna go trick-or-treating we're coming for you are you ready what about the baby is the baby a girl I don't know <laughs> we'll find out any day now I'll find out